Mr Speaker. Uh, fans of proper football clubs like Manchester United in South Ribble, <laughs> I'm aware there are maybe some others, um, were deeply worried about the European Super League and will hugely welcome the, uh, the, the regulatory proposals to prevent a travesty like that happening in the future. Um, so I thank the Government. But I note this is only covering men, the men's game at the moment. And I just wonder, with Let Girls Play coming up on the 8th of March, you know, junior schools like St Mary Magdalene's in Penwitham or St Catherine's in Leyland, encouraging women and girls to get involved, what this review has to say to women's football to both increase ground level participation but also ensure that there is investment going into the ever expanding women's professional game. Well, my honourable friend is, is right to raise this important area, uh, and it was, of course, a, a, an important area of work within the review itself. Uh, I'm pleased to say that we have set up uh, an independent review into women's football. I think we can all celebrate the, in, you know, the, the wonderful expansion of popularity, if you like, of women's football that we have seen since uh, the Lionesses' tremendous uh, success, and also that I have been meeting with uh, colleagues within in DFE to talk about the provision of uh, sport for women and girls because we recognise this is an important area of work. I'm looking forward to that review concluding and giving its report and we will obviously um, give our comments on that report once it's published.